Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to this video. This is just a little vlog, I can't lie. I want to post more than once a week. And I just feel like these vlogs are the best way to do it, you know what I mean? So, we out here, man. We're in the studio right now. There's actually quite a few little nice upgrades I want to show you guys. I was kind of tired of having that under tray. So, what I did was, is I actually kind of sacked it off. And I went and got myself a keyboard uh, extension. And then just put these kind of two together. So, you've got the poly brew up here. And I think it looks really, really good in this space. So, yeah, these two will be living here from now on. Another upgrade I've done is I've actually gone and picked up myself an MPC 2000. Now, if you know about these, then you know how legendary they are. This unit here is from 1997. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's actually older than me. So I was actually after the XL version of this. That's the one that's most famous because of that most expensive. This one, non-XL version, which is the older model, they're basically the same, but it has a few subtle differences. But the biggest difference is the price. I actually only paid 500 pounds for this unit. Also comes with the GoTek USB system instead of floppy. That basically means you can load in sounds a lot easier than just having to only sample them or use a floppy disk or a compact flash. This is just obviously the easiest way. There's a bunch of drum sounds loaded on this thing and um, let me just turn it on real quick. This is what the main menu kind of looks like. This one is actually in immaculate condition. I've been using it a little bit over the last few days just to test it out and kind of get the hang of it. This will make for a crazy, crazy video that I've got coming soon. So yeah, we're going to be making a beat with this today though. I've actually already sampled a couple of my vinyls. Um, my collection is actually over here. Got a quite a decent collection of vinyls, some cool stuff in there. But yeah, it's running from that into here. Oh yeah, and the final upgrade is I've uh, put in some some of these. You know what I'm saying? You have to. I'm actually gonna leave them on. They look sick. We need to treat this room because although it doesn't sound too bad right now, I can't even use my speakers because as soon as them 808 start hitting, that shit bouncing around the walls like crazy. Couple panels up here, couple bass traps, and that will make the studio look like a studio. And also obviously dead in the sound completely. I think we're ready to get on with the day now. Not so funny is I only ever eat this well if I'm vlogging, I swear. I never ever normally have a good breakfast like this. I normally skip breakfast to be honest, like to work. Four eggs, four bacon, four toast. Mm. realized that I've got a bunch of video planning to do so I literally am filming a crazy video on the 4th of May which is in two days time we literally booked Metropolis studio which is a crazy studio in London but yeah it's gonna be flipping crazy the whole idea for the video was basically a thousand dollar studio versus like ten dollar studio so this studio is actually a thousand dollars to rent for one day which is what we're doing I was gonna send three producers to that studio and then three producers to a really like basic home studio like the equivalent of like a ten dollar rental studio whatever you know it's a YouTube title at the end of the day the person who was meant to be doing it for me has let me down so I think I'm just gonna have to book a pirate studio to be honest with you that's nearby look how many like <laughs> the pirates are in London there's literally about eight pirates in London one of these is gonna have to do, so I need to book that ASAP. <laughs> Mental, bro. Oh, okay, this one is literally round the corner. I think this is the one we're gonna go with. That is the uh, Metropolis, and then here is the Pirate. Literally round the corner. See, this is the shit you guys don't see. You just see the video, you see the final result. You don't see all the behind the scenes and all the stress and all the like things that go wrong and everything. Yeah, anyway, let me finish editing this video. Look who's just come and sat with me. <laughs> Hello. Finally, finally, finally finished the video. Oh my God, man. I gave away a $3,000 synth to one of these four producers. No spoilers. It's pretty crazy, I can't lie. I just need to render it real quick. So I just made this thumbnail. I think it looks actually crazy. I don't know, it just came together out of nowhere. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I actually kind of prefer it now to this one. It's just, I don't know. It's just screen grabs from footage. I've been going through the footage for the last hour or something. And we are live. So yeah, all this footage is the next day, I can't lie. I literally spent the whole of yesterday editing videos, literally the whole day I was editing videos. The video that you guys would have seen, the simp video, and also Patreon content as well. Speaking of which, you guys should definitely check out the Patreon, man, because there's some cool stuff on there and there's gonna be even more cool stuff coming. So right now, if you guys sign up, you will get access to 
121 shots, 20 melody loops, and also the entire uncut video from my session with Jackson Romain, which is about an hour and 45 minutes. So you can just skim through it and see everything that we've done. Obviously when you edit for YouTube, the videos have to be about 10 to 12, 13 minutes long just because of algorithm and stuff like so. So much stuff that we do gets cut out of the video which you guys will definitely benefit from seeing. So yeah, there's gonna be that and many more videos on there. So yeah, check it out. It's literally $10 a month and there's a bunch of other benefits on there. I'm sure there's a few of you guys that will benefit from it. So yeah, check it out. Right now, man, the first order of business is we're gonna go through Tracklib and find some samples because we're doing a sample challenge with all the guys. Normally, I find the best samples in the monthly dig section. So you got obviously April, March, February. I think I'll go through these two, March and April. Find some cool samples, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully. Nah. That's kind of nice. That's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six options. That's that's enough. Let's chop up a beat on the NPC. Fuck it. See how long it takes to chop a sample back in 1997, bro? It takes literally like 10 minutes just to get a chop. It's crazy. That's one of my favorite samples, though. Oof, I'm gonna get five chops, I think, so I can play it out on the NPC. Okay, last one I'm gonna do is just want this end part here. So let's go to program, and we can assign stuff to actual pads. There you go. The screen is bad, I'm sorry. So these five pads here are assigned to our chops, right? Now we want some drums. Hi hat in there real quick. Put that on here. Oh, I fucked it completely out the gate. <laughs> yeah, I'm shit at this, man. Here we go, boys. So it goes. Oh, let's do this. All right, let's go. So yeah, we can literally leave that sequence there now and do a separate drum sequence. I think that's what I'm going to do. Definitely getting the hang of this though. Definitely getting the hang of it. I'm really enjoying it as well. It's really fun. We can just quantize this recording. Quantize. Drag it back in. I mean, I just spent about 40 minutes chopping that sample. I could have done that in probably five minutes on FL. I feel like the end result is just better and it's just cooler and it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. It's a very charming workflow. So in it, much, much, much nicer for sure. We need a bass sound. I guess we could go into one of my kits. It's got a chromatic. 
which you guys can get right now, prodbyjack.com, check it out man. <laughs>